Okay, kids, this is Schedule Skills number eight. Just like all the rest of these, these can be found at nkinfinity.com. nkinfinity.com. Get a little punchy because this is number eight in a row for these. But this is a great, great skill. If you could use your calculator to help you graph anything you can graph. What are the vertex and axis of symmetry of this graph? Okay, let's graph it. Let's take our graphing calculator out and graph this thing. So I come over, graphing calculator. It's x squared minus 2x. Oops, forgot the x. Escape x squared minus 2x minus 3. There it is. So I want to know the vertex. So I'll go to menu, analyze graph. In this case, the vertex is going to be a minimum. Click to the left, click to the right. There's the vertex, 1, negative 4. So I know these are not right. Now, the axis of symmetry is the line x equals, and it's always the x value, x equals 1. So you were able to eliminate it down and go get to there. Now, if you can, if you, ha if you have this calculator and you have it upgraded, you can always do this. You can always graph the relation and then write x equals 1 and see if it works. And there's the line x equals 1, and there's your axis of symmetry. But that only works if your calculator has been updated to the latest software. And there would be your axis of symmetry, x equals 1. So it's choice 1. Which table of values can be modeled by this equation? So what we'll do is we'll just try these and then go to the table. Um, doesn't matter which one we try. Let's go in here. And now absolute value is right here. If you, if you forget, just click on it's this button, this button, or this button. One of these three is going to be the right button. So we'll click on this. There's absolute value. Uh, X plus 3. X plus 3. Hit Enter. Now go to the table. Control T. Now we're looking for negative 2, 5. Nope, that's not it. Don't even bother to look anymore. Control T. Let's press Tab. Let's change it. Absolute value of x minus 3, x plus 3. Now we're looking at this, control T. And we're looking for negative 2, 5. Oh, negative 2, 5, negative 1, 4, negative 1, 4, 0, 3, 0, 3, 1, 4, 2, 5. There it is, choice 2. If it asks for the solution set of these, I could solve these or I could just graph them. Control T. Let's, let's just get out of this. Red X, click, click on 3X plus 6, 3X minus 6, 3X minus 6, enter. X squared minus X minus 6. Press enter. Oops, I forgot to tab. X squared minus x minus 6. Press enter. All right, there's two points of intersection. There they are. So we go menu, analyze graph, intersection, click, click. There it is. x equals 0, negative 6. So 0 is one of my answers. What are we looking for? 0 is one of my answers. It's got to be 1 or 2. Menu, analyze graph, intersection, click, click. There it is, 4. So 0 is an x value and 4 is an x value. Which values of x are in here? 0 and 4. Choice 2. The domain of this is, now let's graph this thing. Let's just see what this thing looks like. So we'll come over here. Red x. Never Always red x things start over again. So negative out front, the square or control division, 3 over the square root of... 2 minus x. Press enter. Now they want the domain. Domain is from the left to the right. So it looks like it goes forever and ever to the left. Infinity, negative infinity, all the way up to it looks like 2. And again, if you want, you can press tab, backspace, no, no. Okay, I'm stuck in a loop now. Yes, yes, it's Oh my gosh. All 
All right, whatever. Anyway, it was less than negative 2. It was less than 2 because it looked like this. Or it looked like this, actually. So it was less than 2. Which interval represents the range, the y values? Now, you still have to remember that that's the y values. So we're going to graph that 2 to the x minus 1. Of course, you got to put the minus 1 in the right place, minus 1. And there it is. So what are the y values? So y values, it goes down, down, down. But it looks like it's going to be just a little bit bigger than 1. And it goes up forever and ever. So greater than negative 1. From negative 1 to positive infinity. Because it looks like this. So from negative 1 to positive infinity. There it is. Um, for a trig graph, we don't want to use the sketch pad, scratch pad. I almost never use the sketch pad for, for the trig graphs or anything. I always use choose no. I go right into here. If you're going to graph trig stuff, you want to make sure you're in radian mode. If you're not, click on that and then go over here to set up document setting up and angle. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes this is complicated. Just make sure you're in radian mode. You'll be fine. So which graph represents the cosine of negative 1? So, okay, I don't remember. So I do cosine negative 1 of x. Press Enter. Oh, it's this one. There it is, choice 3. Make sure it matches, choice 3. Which graph represents 3 pi x? Oh, okay. Get rid of this. Sine 3 pi x. So sine 3 pi x. X. Holy crap. All right, so that's a problem. And that's a problem because it's not graphed in the mode. We will like some sometimes we can go menu, zoom or graph, and just to zoom trig. And notice how it goes from negative two pi to two pi. But even that's not good. It looks like maybe we should be going from man, that's not good at all. So, how about we go from negative 2 pi over 3 to 2 pi over 3, and let's see if that's what we look like. So, we go, um, I need to click on, press enter, I need to click on that thing. Wow, it's just not going to let me do it. All right, let's, oh, I can just click on this one. So I'll make this 2. Make this 2 pi control division over 3, tab, tab, negative 2. And then control division 2 pi over 3. So I went from negative 2 pi over 3 to 2 pi over 3. Is that this one? No, look how many graphs it is. That's not it. So let's try negative pi over 3. So let's do this again. I can click on this one, press tab, tab, get rid of the two, tab, 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 and get rid of the two. Oh, it's got to be negative. Is that what it looks like? No, nope. lots of curves in there. So let's try negative one third. So tab, tab. Let's just get rid of the pi and put negative one and one. Is that what it looks like? Wait a second. Now we're getting close. From negative one third to one third, that looks like it, right? One third to one third, that's what we got right there. So there's our answer. Now that was a kind of a pain in the neck, but it was just changing the scale a little bit. It's not a big deal. Change the scale a little bit. Make sure you're in radian though mode when you graph, okay? That's it, kids. It's all she wrote. I think that's the end of that one. Yep. All right. That's essential skills number. And we're going to be doing more with it. I'm going to be doing more with trig graphs. They're coming.